Good afternoon to everyone. My name is Radha Singh. I am working here as a nursing tutor in Faculty of Nursing, Rama University. So today I am going to discuss about the topic cataract. So in cataract, we will first discuss about definition. So in definition, a cataract is a clouding or opacity that develops in the lens of eye. So in cataract, any opacity or clouding occur in the lens. So generally, the nature of lens is clear, but in this condition, opac opacification occur in lens. So now I will discuss about types. Many types are there. First is congenital cataract, second is acquired cataract, and third one is according to morphological. So in congenital cataract, the congenital cataract occur in the baby before birth due to any genetic factor, due to any malformation. So next is acquired cataract. So in acquired cataract, the opacification occur in the lens due to any factor such as so acquire cataract also is divided in many types first is senile cataract so this cataract occur due to any aging factor next is traumatic cataract this type of cataract occur in the person due to any trauma uh, just like any uh, foreign material, foreign body enter in the eye of patient. So this type of traumatic cataract can occur. Next is toxic cataract. So in toxic cataract, many phototoxic drugs are there that can cause this type of cataract such as tranquilizers, corticosteroids, thiazides, and oral contraceptives. Next is radiation cataract. If any person is coming in contact of any radiation like UV rays, so this type of cataract can occur in the patient. Next is metabolic cataract. So in metabolic cataract, so this type of cataract can cause in any person due to any metabolic disease like diabetic mellitus. So cataract is the complication of the diabetic mellitus. Is any person is having diabetic mellitus. So this type of cataract can occur. Next is morphological. So, th this morphological cataract also divide in three, capsular cataract, subcapsular cataract, and nuclear cataract. In capsular cataract, it involve the capsule, interior or posterior capsule, maybe interior or posterior capsule. In next subcapsular cataract it involve the cortex just below the capsule so next is nuclear cataract so in nuclear cataract it involve the nuclear of the crystalline lens in this cataract nuclear become involved so these are the types of cataract next i will discuss about causes of cataract. So many causes are there that are responsible for the cataract. Aging factor is also can cause cataract. Next is heredity. Heredity means the cataract pass one generation to another generation. Chronic exposure to heat. If any person is coming in the contact of 
chronic exposure to heat that can suffer from cataract next is welders without protection if any person working without glasses that person can suffer from cataract next is many eye diseases are responsible for the cataracts so glaucoma retinal detachment so these are the eye disorder that leads to cataract next is medicine so many drugs are there that can cause the cataract like uh, oral contraceptives tranquilizers thiazides so many are drugs here next is chronic exposure to heat so these are the causes of cataract next is now i will discuss about clinical manifestation so we will see this clinical manifestation in the patient of cataract white white spot we will see white spot in the eye next blurred vision person cannot able to see clearly so next is diplopia diplopia means double vision next is photophobia photophobia means fear from the light next is inability to see in the dim light person can't see in dim light next decrease color perception so here patient cannot identify the some colors so these are the clinical manifestation we can see in the patient of cataract so next i will explain about diagnostic evaluation so many diagnostic evaluation are there that identify that diagnose the cataract so first is history collection we will collect the history like present history past history so through the history we can diagnose the cataract and next is physical examination through the physical examination we also can find out the cataract next is retinoscopy so through the retinoscopy we detect the vision loss and next is snail snailan visual loss so through the snailan chart we can identify the visual loss so next is ophthalmoscopy so ophthalmoscopy examination we will do to examine the interior eye including lens retina and optic nerve so next is management so management of the cataract is very important so there is no medical management because, because in condition in this condition uh, medicine is not effective so here surgical management is very important first is so many surgical procedure are there first is extra capsular cataract extraction second is intra capsular cataract extraction or third one is intra ocular implantation so in extra capsular capsular cataract extraction we will remove the lens and interior portion of the capsule but in intra capsular cataract extraction we will remove the entire lens and capsule and in intra ocular implantation when we when we will remove the entire lens a new healthy lens we will implanted so after surgical procedure the post operative nursing care is very important in this condition so after surgical procedure we will provide antibiotics to treat further any infection 
like ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin. Next, we will instruct the patient to avoiding rubbing of the eye. Next, we will instruct the patient to any uh, forcefully coughing and sneezing and bending because it increases the pressure on the eye. Next is, we will avoid the bright light from the patient. And next is important, we will provide the patient complete rest. So these are the management of the cataract. So today I discussed about many things in cataract. First is definition. Second is types. So many types are there. Next is causes. Next is clinical manifestation. Next, diagnostic evaluation. And then management. Thank you.